Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. My goal for today, at least at the moment, is to find proof of the plague so that I can convince the Canes to actually do something about it. And to do that, I'm going to go to Sticky, who's going to introduce me to the houses that are strange and abandoned in this area. And we're thinking they're strange and abandoned probably because, I guess, maybe there's plague victims inside of them. So hopefully I'll be able to find some proof there. And also another thing that I need to do today is collect payment from Younger Vlad and from Maria Kena. I've already collected payment from Yulia. That's where I just came from, but yeah, I need to collect payment from these two people and then spend it on finding provisions and then bring it to uh, Lara's place, the shelter that she's creating. So I've got quite a few things to do today and it's already... Yeah, it's already like 3 p.m. So let's get going. Let's, uh, let's go to Sticky. No time to dawdle. I really need to find cheap places to buy food. Because if you look at the, uh, the quest, it actually tells you how much you need to buy. Three loaves, three dried fish, three smoked meat. And what I just got from Yulia was 3,000. And the price of a loaf of bread, I think, is like 1,600 or something. Like 1,650, right? At least at every place that I've seen. So unless the other people give me even larger donations, that's not going to be enough money to buy all this stuff, because all of this stuff is going to cost like 1650 each. I think she told me to speak with the locals to ask them about any place that might sell cheap food, so I guess I should be doing that along the way. Suppose there's no harm in it. Uh, does the game pause when you talk with... Yeah, they pause even when you talk with these people. Do you have enough food? Oh, we're absolutely miserable. The last of it has run out completely. We're starving, no less. How can it be? Why? People can go for 40 days without food. 40 days? I don't know about that. Starvation weakens the body, that's why. But the prices, just look at the prices. It's unheard of. A piece of stale bread costs a thousand. Where am I supposed to get that much money? How do they live with their conscience and demand that much of me when my children are starving? Are you really that low on provision? Oh, what a fool I was. And I'm not the only one. So much has been burnt and buried. We were afraid that the meat, the oat, the fish, potatoes, that it could all be infected. The day before yesterday, and the day before that, we did... We didn't know that the train wouldn't come, and we just threw it all away. We expected new safe food to come. The train might come soon. <laughs> no, it won't. Who in their right mind would send a train here? There's a quarantine, thanks to you. Sanitary trains are exempt from the quarantine. I guess she doesn't care. I guess she's not going to tell me where the cheap food is, either. What about you, sir? Uh, you want to ask me something? Have you defeated the foe? Found the root of evil? I mean, like... By the way, there was an accident once. Happened to a maid of mine. Uh, What happened to this worthy man? So, you see, he broke a leg once, right? Also got himself kidney pains. It was early spring, March or so. And so he went off to gather them warts. It was high time for them. Said he'd sell them, so, they, so they're made into potions. Uh, that is, twirine. Otherwise, they're pretty worthless. W wait, he went to gather warts with a broken leg. That's the point. That's the point when he broke it. Obviously, he went to gather herbs unbroken. Running around regardless of whether you're even whole or all in pieces is a modern thing. Things used to be different back then. What... What does it have to do with the turnskin? Stop interrupting me, then. He wandered far off. Darkness fell and all. So he thought he should get back. And then he feels like something has grabbed his leg. And it's all dark. 
So he thought that maybe he's grabbed too many herbs and roots. So the earth wouldn't let him go. He took the best ones too. The juiciest. Well, what was it? He looks down. And there's something holding him. Something hand-like. Like a hand. Doesn't seem like a root at all. Holding him fast. Trying to get his ankle. Trying to get to his ankle, rather. And then he sees that it's a bone hand, for real. So twas him, the Shavnak. And so my mate tried to break free and run off. Came back home and saw that his leg was broken. What? <laughs> what? Why the hell did you feel the need to waste my time telling me all this? Well, he got sick, right? So, tis all medical stuff. You're a medic. It's a useful story for you, see? Thank you, good sir. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a waste of time. Thank God time pauses when I was speaking with him. Alright, let's go. Uh, fences everywhere around here. Let's go by Peter Stamaton's studio. Hey, Peter Stamaton's studio is like half red, half yellow, so I guess he also sells stuff. Maybe we should visit it. I don't have time to waste, but it really wouldn't take much time. It is literally right along the way. I mean, I do need to find places that sell cheap food. Although, if that's Peter Stamaton's studio, then it looks like it sells medicine. Yeah, I guess it's just medicine. Well, let's visit Peter Stamton anyway, because I believe they're on my list of adherents, right? Andre? Yeah, Peter Stamton right there. Let's have a chat with Peter. Okay, that is an interesting entrance. A spiral staircase greets you. Peter? Ugh. That's creepy. I feel like there's a person under those sheets. Ugh. I don't like this place. It's weird. Why is there a bathtub in the middle of the freaking floor? Hi. What if he can mix herbs? Fancy that. A new brew can come out of this. A new... You know, eh? I don't know. I see the reflection of my epiphanies in your eyes. Who are you, my long-awaited guest? I'm Daniel Dankovsky. You are a good person to drink with and talk to. You will make no mistake by calling me Peter. You can call me Andre, too. Just for the sake of diversity. And it won't be wrong either. What do you mean? Question time will be later. Let's drink some twirine to our acquaintance. And don't you dare insult me by refusing. There is a retort in one of the cupboards, I think. I think I didn't smash it yesterday. I was so pissed. Pissed as in drunk, I think? I think it's drunk pissed instead of, like, angry pissed. And, no, I am going to insult you by refusing. I ain't drinking Twyrein, okay? I don't drink at work. It's essential to allow yourself no time to think. That's how you get to heaven. <laughs> what? Don't allow yourself any time to think. That's how you get to heaven. Okay, thanks for the advice, buddy. I can't shrug away the feeling that someone's scratching at the windowsill. I'm, I'm just going to be a little bit of a, a dick. Those are tree branches. <laughs> it just ends it. Okay. What if he can mix herbs? Fancy that. A new brew can come out of this. A new... You know. Eh? Everyone is after a female figure. What is this? The vestiges of matriarchy? The snake mother? The abyss? Yada yada. Hmm. Actually, 
An unusual girl's been walking around our town lately. Did you know? They say she can work miracles with her bare hands. If I happen to meet her, I'll test her miraculous capabilities. She can probably ease my headache, right? What else can the girl do? She heals the sick and incapacitated. Perhaps she's a healer. Perhaps a saint. And perhaps she's just a fraud. I like to believe she's a saint. The world around us is rather low on miracles. Mm hmm. So I can kind of be like a hardcore rationalist here or just say... Or, or just kind of go with it and say like, yeah, maybe she is a saint. What do I want to go with? Do I want to be a hardcore rationalist? I mean, I'm starting to suspect that clairvoyance is real in this world, and not a fraud. So... I don't think I do want to be a hardcore rationalist. I feel like in the world of pathologic, given how strange of a world it is, things like this, a healer, a saint, a monster, a witch, a whatever, I feel like it's very possible. Yes, things like this happen, but science is unable to explain them. Your face is fading. You seem depressed. The dream mistresses are silent. This is both sad and strange. Quite. Sad and strange. Even Lady Katerina won't bestow her poisonous psalms upon us. I almost pronounced it with a P. No, the P silent. Tell me about the dream mistresses, Peter. Mistresses used to have some inexplicable, magnetic, motherly power over us. Katerina's problem is that she's a turncoat. You can't just stop in your tracks between the ridge and the abyss. You have to either climb or fall. Falling is easy. Climbing is commendable. What do you mean? Nothing, really. She's a false mistress. That is what bothers me. She doesn't have the right to see things. Seriously, my twirine daydreams are better suited to change our life. Because I'm at least honest with myself and true to my conscience. I've never betrayed anyone. All my life, I've only been doing the things that I believe to be true creative work. Change? I thought the clairvoyant see the inevitable. We don't have clairvoyants any longer. We are orphans. Blind puppies in the darkness. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind, have a drink. Nice chatting with you. Well, I've got to protect them, but I guess my fate has not intertwined with theirs just yet. So, nothing do. Just pop in here real quick. Is this just, just another clone? Yep, another clone. How much does this cost now? 550? Jesus, a tourniquet is 660. Okay, over to stickies. So many clothes shops. I need freaking food shops, not clothes. It's weird, you think you'd need a lot more food shops than clothes shops, but I swear there's like an equal distribution of them. Alright, let's see if we can sneak in here. Oh, it shows there not being a fence on the map, but there totally is a fence. Alright, I think there's an archway here. Yeah, here we go. Sticky. That must mean it's 4 p.m. Ooh, razor blade. Ooh, razor and water. Good haul. Let's make a perma save. 
This is where you live? Just an abandoned building that looks like it was under construction and then just ignored after that. Never finished work. Hey, kid. Alright, so you're my guide, huh? Something's on. I feel... makes my hair stand on end. Want to see something fun? Uh, sure. Look around. Some houses are always open for you. Others open for everyone only under special circumstances. If a person dies or when there's a wedding or something. Others still are only open to those who can find a creephole in. And? Well, I collect places like that. I made a map a year ago. Now there are so many marks on it that there's no room for houses. I hid in a house for about two hours once. The owners were there, but they didn't notice me. Interesting. Someone's leaned against my window at night. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> yes, very spooky. Will you teach me how to tell a person's expected lifespan by their pupils? What? You can't tell someone's lifespan by their pupils. I will when you grow taller than that polyhedron of yours. So? I've seen this Haruspex. Didn't look too happy. Listen to me. Your main quest is to stay at home for now. Otherwise you'll get infected and die. Do you believe me? Anyone who doesn't believe there's an outbreak is a perfect fool. We need to block off everything. Delay is tantamount to death, right? Right. But how do you know all this? Look, when people thought a man-eater was in the town, they locked their doors up. Only the brave ones didn't. And those who somehow knew that the rumors were all fibs. Got it? Not yet. Whatever. Most folk just hid in their homes. Even those who joined the hunt locked the doors behind them. I checked that myself. I can't blame them. She managed to get into the focus, inside the crucible, after all. Wait. Oh, into that focus, inside the crucible. There's a focus inside the crucible? You can't get into the focus, or you're not supposed to be able to get into the focus, if it's not yours, right? Isn't this supposed to be literally impossible? Alright. Mm, let's go with the smarter sounding one. The capability of a mob to draw correct conclusions from incorrect premises would work as a great thesis subject. What are you hinting at? And now some houses are standing ajar. They say there's moaning coming from inside. All in all, no one in their right mind would invite the disease to their home. I'd say that kind of welcome is a bad sign. Okay, so if the doors are open, that means... What, what does that mean? I don't, I don't get it. So you think I'm going to walk around pushing every door until one of them opens? What for? That's stupid. Even I wouldn't do that. There are other clues that set a dangerous place apart. Ask some guys around here. As for the girls, you can ask Grace and Capella. Not murky, though. Her imagination is getting the better of her. She makes up a lot of weird stuff that gives me chills. So the locals leave their doors open when there is no hope left. A nice custom. Quite useful. My knee pits itch. Is that bad? Yes, Sticky. It means you are going to die of the plague. Well, I guess I kind of know what to do. Just go around looking at houses. I mean, I could just go around trying out every single door. But as he said, that's kind of stupid and I should probably go speak with with uh, Capella or somebody, but I feel like going all the way back to speak with somebody might be a bad idea. I feel like that would take longer than just trying every damn house. But maybe not. They say you've seen a silent house. I've seen it all right. Shouldn't have done that. 
Hey, can you check me? You know, like you doctors do, just in case. Although, they say if you get sick, you can feel it straight away. It feels as if someone was pouring boiling tar straight into you. Yeah. No fever. You're fine. So have you sneaked into infected houses? Which ones? One's really close by, just across the yard. That's one freaky place, all right. All hot and smeared with bloody fat. Ugh. They say bloody mold was crawling up the walls during the first outbreak, too. Like a scab. This is rubbish. A scab on stone walls? I know what I'm talking about. The things carrying the disease. That's why it's so creepy. What if it crawls further? And no one cares. The guys tried to tell them. If you see blood leaking from under a door, that's where Amara, a Shabnak, I mean, has had a feast. But no one believes them, guys. Is it better never than late or something? Alright, I'll go check. Right across the yard, huh? Okay. Something's on. I feel... makes my hair stand on end. Let's see if this goes anywhere, too. I uh, really hope you quench... You've quenched your thirst for acts of valor. I think I know what we need to be looking for. I've heard all those stuff about a turnskin, a bloodsucker, a man-eater. About it being a man and about it being a woman. I've heard the tales of an invisible, many-headed beast that can go through walls. But that's all hogwash. Alright, enlighten me. What else is there to find? The killer is unusual. But it exists. We need to be looking for the carrier of the disease. Right, Master? <laughs> this, this option. Now I hear a man talking. Who is it? A man-like creature. Skin so pale that it seems to be gleaming. It comes from under the ground sometimes. Turns up somewhere around the rotten field. Between the cemetery and the abattoir. Between the cemetery and the abattoir. I wonder if it's worth looking around there. I mean, I don't think I have time today, but let me just actually note this. Between cemetery and abattoir. Okay. Have you seen it? Once. Not sure that was the thing, though. We've tried to follow it a couple of times, but it always knows it's being followed. Anyway, it fits the description. A rather strange thingy. I can even imagine why folks say it has several heads. Why? Because it does. <laughs> that was a stupid joke, boy. I don't know if that was a joke. Okay, so across the yard. Oh god, look at my hunger and exhaustion and health. I'm doing really shitty and the freaking plague hasn't even, like, really started. At least not in full force. Is it marked on the map, this across the yard? No, it's not. Define across the yard. Like... I don't really know what that means, to be honest. Across the yard could be any one of these? Let's see, I think it added a note. What does it say? I have to enter the silent house if I am to confirm that the disease that killed Simon is spreading. Mm, of course, I must be careful. Ruben told me that the local drugstores are running out of immune system medication. Uh-huh. I'm gonna make a perma save. Another one. I'm gonna make a lot of those today, I think. Let's just start trying some doors. Across the yard. One of these is going to allow me inside, and I'm going to be really scared. I don't think the back doors would work if the front doors don't, right? Probably not. Let's 
destroy all the ones immediately around his home. God, across the yard, what a terrible description. Okay, that's all the ones immediately around his place. What about this one? This one has like a different door. It looks fancy. Nah. <sighs> I don't know. Should I really just try more doors? He said that was stupid. And then I should go talk to somebody. But... Everybody that I would talk to is just so freaking far away. Capella's one of them, but she's... She's not super far away, but she's kind of far away. And the other one was what? I don't remember who the other person was. Was it Maria? I don't know. Uh, this doesn't feel good. I'm going to try just going down here and trying every door along the strip of road. I think I've already tried that door. Oh, there's a food shop. Cool. You can check the prices. Another clone. It's the same price as all the other damn places. Too expensive with the amount of money I have, I wouldn't be able to buy enough. Whoops. What's in here? Ooh. More clone guards. That's the termitary. I don't I don't think I want to go there. Nah. I think I need to speak with someone. But I feel like he told me where it's supposed to be. Is it across the yard? Like, that implies somewhere really close by. But in across what yard? There's, there's no yard! Those are terrible directions. I'm just trying doors I've already tried again, that's stupid. Um... Um... Should I just say forget it? And just go collect the money? I guess. Was Grace? Wait a minute, was Grace the other person I could speak with? About the location of one of the houses? It might have been. Let's go speak with Grace. I think maybe... Well, let me read this and see if it mentions something. Yeah, I really don't get it. I'm super confused. It seems like Sticky told me that... Well, Sticky definitely told me that checking every house randomly is stupid and even I wouldn't do that, is, is what he said. He said I should go speak to somebody, like Capella. So, maybe I should go speak with her, but then he also... It seems like he also told me where it is, sort of. He said, yeah, there was a silent house, and it was across the yard. But I don't know where across the yard is. So it seems like he at once told me that I should go speak with somebody like Capella to figure out where one of these houses is, but he also personally knows where one of those houses is, but his directions suck. I'm super confused. Maybe it's Ruben's place? Or not Ruben's place, sorry. Uh, Isidore's place, which is here. Could that be the silent house? I, I don't think so. It seems unlikely. Should I check back? See if I can go inside? I don't know. I'm gonna go back, it's close. Let's see if the guards are still posted at the door. And if not, then uh, go to Capella, I guess? Or Grace? 
I wish this game put more stuff in the journal. It's, it's really hard to tell what you need to write down and what you don't. Because Sticky told me two people I should talk to. And I know one of them was Capella, but I don't remember who the other person was. I think it was Grace, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let me check the food prices here. Uh-oh. I think that means it's 5 p.m. What have you got for me, clone? Same price as everything else. Sixteen fifty. I feel like I'm just gonna not find anything and I'm gonna die of exhaustion and hunger. Oh boy. Oh, hey. Uh... Is that like the creeping blood that they were talking about? Holy crap, okay, the guards are gone. Maybe I can go inside. Maybe this is the house. Ooh. Holy shit, I can go inside now. Whoops. Whoa, there's a console? I didn't know there was a console. Whoa. Um, who are you and why are you in Isidore's place? Who is it? Is that a person? Will you help me? W what's wrong with you? Can't you see me? So hot. It hurts. My head is about to burst. Blood is curdling in my veins. I'd scream, but I don't want the children to hear. I think she has the plague. Isn't that what Sticky said, that it feels like... like boiling tar is being poured into you? There are no children here. I keep hearing children's voices. The girls are crying, and the boy is laughing. We mustn't scare them. Don't tell them, and don't let them in here. You're delirious. There's no one here. Don't come close. We are dying already. I told my sisters not to go outside, so they're shambling around the house. Who's shambling around the house, and why? Just don't kill us. Don't kill them if they ask you for help. Their mind is clouded with pain. They can't even find each other. They're only praying. Don't come close to them. And step away from me, too. I'll be back. Take the key. You'll be able to open the door if we lose consciousness. Whoa! Uh... Uh, duh! Uh, what the fuck? Get away from me! Oh, th fuck! I've just become slightly infected. Where the fuck do they come from? Um... She said don't kill them. Don't kill them, don't kill them. Well, I gotta go. What the fuck? Am I still infected? I am still infected. Does it go down? I... I don't know. What do I... What do I do about the infection? These are apparently shit, only useful in large doses. I've only got one, I don't think that's gonna matter. Uh, I don't really have anything for immunity other than this. Uh, it's only a tiny bit of infection, but still. Fuck. I'm gonna take them anyway, let's see what they do. Uh, I boosted my immunity a decent amount. How am I doing on infection now? It's... Uh, can you make the infection go away? That's what I'm wondering. They're gone. Uh, 
That guy need to go in here if I want to find proof, but I also feel like I'm gonna get infected as soon as I step in here. Uh, holy shit. There's nothing in here I can use for proof, is there? Maybe I should have just shot them. If they do have the plague, they're going to die, right? There is no cure. Not yet. And they'd die long before anyone was ever invented. I can't open any containers? No. Jesus Christ. Looks like that drapery is covering up a covering up a doorway. Weird. Okay, that was strange. But I also didn't find any proof, so kind of fruitless. And I also got slightly infected, so yay. I don't know what to do. I think Grace might have been one of the people I could ask about the location of the house. I feel like I'm just fucking up at this point. Like, I'm supposed- I feel like I'm supposed to know where this house is based on what Sticky told me. But the game just communicated it really poorly or I misunderstood or something. I could bring the key to Alexander. That's solid proof that the town is in grave danger. What? How is the key proof of anything? What are you talking about? Silent house key. This key matches the lock on a certain infected house can definitely serve as proof of the threat of an epidemic. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I found proof by having the key. Uh, cool. We're good, apparently. I'll take it. That's where the strange woman was being burned alive before she completely disappeared. Looks like my immunity is increasing, which is very good, obviously. Not sure if it just goes up with time or what. How's my infection doing? Still low, good. As long as that doesn't also go up. What is that? What does that symbol mean? It's the pub. I probably shouldn't be going here right now, but I am curious. Hi. Oh god, what time is it? Fuck, it's late. Uh... I guess I'll speak with you because it freezes time. Oh no, you want to trade. Okay. Do you have food? Coffee. Twyrine. It does boost immunity. Maybe I should have taken that drink with that guy before. Andre Stamaton or whatever his name was? Uh, what'll he give me for like a razor? 288. A lot of money for a single round. <laughs> Can I sell the key to him? That'd be a bad idea. Alright, yeah, I don't have time. As much as I want to stay and take in the local culture and watch the strange exotic dancer... Are you the same woman that was at the uh, the place in the warehouses? I, I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. You look important. Laura and her company are buying up all food in town. Are we at war again? This is Andre Stamaton. I see the dust of my beloved capital on this man's feet. Ta-da! I bet you must have met me. Wait a second. The uni? Was it you juggling knives on the table? Ah! Remember the time when we got the better of those bastards, eh? And you? You sat there all quiet. But when the tables went down, you've grabbed the shooter. Wait, you have grabbed the shooter? Yeah, I, what? Grammatically, that doesn't make any sense. 
very brave of you. Those were the days. Look at me now. Those were the days indeed. Dankovsky. In case you've forgotten. And you are? Andre Stamaton. Sentenced to death in four countries at your service. Rejoice and sing. Those of you who are not looking for me to die. What were you sentenced to death for? You're not going to believe it. For my creations. The Downgate. The Alley of Heroes Ensemble. The Other Stairway Round. The House House was specifically renounced by the World Association of Architects. Even though it's always been my little brother and me. It's always just I who receives the beating. Hmm. The other guy, the, uh, the artist-architect guy, he did say you can just call me Andre, right? I guess they are often confused for each other. Did they confuse you two or something? Twins are the two sides of a single person. Each of them pulls in their own direction. Each sees their own side of things. I hope to see you two side by side someday. That's it. There's nothing left here. Run. Run! Sit. Take a load off your feet. Wait, so do you want me to run or take a load off my feet? I'm getting mixed messages here. Any interesting news? People say all sorts of things over a bottle. They say no one has ever seen a Shapnak. But she's been heard. Heard by prophets, drunkards, housemates, and those who happened to walk past the crucible that night. I wonder what the bastards were doing there. They probably wanted to get another glimpse of lovely Maria in the window. What did they hear? They've heard a wheeze, heard sobbing and breathing. Very heavy, as if it were a whale. Those are apparent signs of the hair eater. Here and there, by the window, by the wall, behind the corner. Scared shitless, people didn't come here to forget themselves and the nightmare. <laughs> Breathing so heavy that it can be heard through walls? Well, that whale hasn't got much time left. I'm telling you this as a doctor. <laughs> I can't tell if that was a joke, I'm pretty sure it was. It's possible. It's also possible that Twyrine addiction goes hand in hand with poetry. Poetic minds tend to exaggerate things. But are they really so deprived of imagination that they have to tell the same tale over and over again? That's the concern that's gnawing at me. Curious. Okay, almost there. Of course, once I deliver the key, there's still plenty of things left to do, and it is really seriously getting late. I've still gotta buy the food, and I gotta deliver it, and I gotta collect the money from two people, and I need to go see the theater that's playing a new play in the evening. Oh my god. There's seriously no time to waste. I feel like this day's gone just horribly. You're not the right person. Well, hold on. Do you have anything to say? This qu Nope. I will restore the order here, rest assured. I found proof, Governor. Here is the key to a house where several people dying in agony are waiting for anyone willing to examine them. Will that be enough? I have already received a report of your spectacular success. News of your deeds precede you. Now I want you to personally convey your opinion on what you have witnessed to Kane and Olgimsky. Then we can consider your mission complete. <sighs> well, I guess I kind of have to go to them anyway, sort of. I do have to go to the Canes to collect payment, but I don't have to go to the Olginskis to collect payment. But fine, I'll do that. OK, 
Okay, ticking off boxes, getting things done. Good, good, good. <sighs> Where to next? I could go to Old Gimski and then Young Vlad to collect payment for the food. Let's do that. Old Gimski's first and then Young Vlad. I seriously don't have, like, even a minute to waste. It's, what, 6 p.m.? Okay, go across the bridge. Yeah, go across the bridge. Hang a left. I'm also supposed to act the, ask the locals about where to buy food for cheap. Yeah, do you have anything to barter? Medicine. For two... Um, yeah, one... One razor for some medicine? Hell yeah. Um, also they take watches. Wow, that's worth a lot. Okay, you know what? I think I should actually probably buy all this. I'll take all of it. Oh yeah, and... What's the news in the town? Someone's plundered our old powder caches. Who could it be? What caches? Caches! The mildew's been looted. Uh, Cuckoo said someone's pillaged his cache, too. But the worst thing is that silly house has also been sacked clean. Who can tell now which schmouters are good and which are catch flies? If you eat the latter, you're toast. You can just as well wash them down with acid. What? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. None of that made any sense to me. Little girl. Do you know where cheap food is? I've heard a lot about you. Okay. Good talk. Look at how high my exhaustion is. Okay, almost to the old Gimskis. Almost. Anything to trade? Some more rounds? Um, uh, my stuff is worth three and five, though, and they only have one round revolver, so... Don't have the right amounts to trade for it. I'd be overpaying. You know where cheap food is? No. That's weird. That woman told me to ask the locals about where to buy cheap food, but no one wants to even talk about it. I can't even ask anybody about it. Should I buy more medicine? I feel like I should buy some of all of this stuff, to be honest. And one of these watches is worth three, so you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, now I've got a good stockpile. Alright. The girl is fine, but the boy... <laughs> the boy's unbearable. See what you've done, Doctor. You won't be able to leave this place now. The town is blocked off. I've transferred my powers over to Superov. He didn't hesitate to express his gratitude by assigning me to the position of an... Intendant. Intendant? Now I'm in charge of equipping and maintaining infirmaries. I'm not planning to leave. Pity. I wanted to ask a favor of you in return. But I will do that later. Later. I want you to get to know your new allies better. The Canes and the Superovs. Otherwise, it will be less dramatic. We will have an opportunity to come to an agreement. Alright, done. One down. Let's see what just updated. 
Vlad Ogimsky agree to delegate his authority to the head of the Subaroff family. Alright, one down, one more to go. Let's go see if there's anything to say to... Uh, what's her name? Claudette? Something. Don't have time to spare, but she is just right here. Might as well. It's the oh, same Capella, sorry. power. Nothing to say. Get some more water. Don't have any empty bottles. Cool. Stop staring at me. You're creeping me out. Let's go to Young Vlad. Uh, go this way. Take a left. Go straight. Okay. Another food place up here. I think I've... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here before, and this is one of those places that also costs an arm and a leg. Yeah, it seems like every damn place is going to be the same price. Should I just buy some? Nah. Not yet. Anything to trade? Nothing I want, just some ammo, but not ammo for my gun. I'm starting to get really, really worried. I'm bartering a lot, checking cans, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about time, I don't feel like I have enough time. <sighs> I gotta check the bins, it's so important. But I don't want to stop, it takes time. Ooh, nice. Good haul. Okay, almost to younger Vlad's place, right? Yep, kind of going the wrong way. Please give me money. I am crushed by these walls. Come at Lara Revel's request. Yes, I remember the arrangement. Here's what I can personally donate. It's a pity I can't extort a, a nicer sum from my father. Can he be convinced somehow? It's no use even trying. Really? Why? He has his own opinion on the matter. I think he accepts that you might be right. He accepts it, but he won't admit it. See the difference? Obviously, getting solid proof is disadvantageous to him for some reason. Not to mention that it would immediately cause him expenses. Okay, well I've already found proof, so what about now? Maybe he'd be willing now? I can see the difference, but I don't understand the game he's playing. I'm not going to discuss that. I can only sympathize with you and advise you against disturbing my father with this question. I don't like this. 4,000. Okay, good. More than 3,000. Maybe I do have a chance to actually buy all the food. Maybe it actually just doesn't get cheaper than the prices I've seen. I mean, I have checked like four or five stores and they've all been the exact same price. I doubt there's what, like a single magical place that sells really cheap food, but maybe? Maybe. I guess over to the Canes. Get their money. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure if I buy at the current price, though, it's still not going to be anywhere near enough. Unless the canes give me, like, 10,000 or something. I'll have to do the math once I get their money. But I'm pretty sure everything I need to buy, of which I need 9 items, costs 1650 each. And I'm getting money from 3 people. And the money I got from Yulia isn't even enough to buy two items, let alone the three that would cover her, her third. Of course, Young Vlad just gave me 4,000, which again is more than 3,000, so I could buy two things, but I still can't buy three with that. Not at that price. So I'm hoping the Canes give me an exorbitant sum or something. Ooh, another razor, nice. I 
could buy a round plus another lockpick, I suppose. Actually, no, I can't really buy that combination without overpaying, but I could buy another lockpick, but I have no reason to. I haven't even used my current lockpick. Maria Kana. She's in the center one? Yeah. Actually, let's go speak with uh, Georgie or Victor or whatever. Because I need to talk to them too anyway. However brilliant an action, it should not be esteemed great unless the result of a great motive. I feel guilty for having misled you, dear bachelor. Forgive this old man. I thought your ignorance of our local affairs would mystically skew the circumstances in your favor. Forgive me if I was wrong. There's no unexpected news to be heard, is there? No. The disease is spreading around the town already. It is necessary that we urgently appoint mid-level executives. Get all the doctors and hospital attendants. Let Subarov take care of that. After all, he was the one to demand emergency powers from us, which were granted. I've already sent all of my men to assist him, as well as an appreciable amount of money to further his administrative activities. We don't have any doctors or hospital attendants. The only man that knows something about medicine is currently examining my brother's body. It is strange there's been no news from him so far. We need to send someone after him. Oh god, don't tell me Reuben died examining Simon's body. Uh, what about you? What are you going to do? We will fight until the very end. I will personally persecute those who would dare describe this disease as some kind of preordained divine retribution. I will attack anyone who would say Simon got what he deserved. Finally, I will not allow anyone to say that what Simon has built by ceaseless labor is subject to inevitable destruction. Retribution for what? Sooner or later, the one who dares challenge the mechanics of nature will pay the price. But this is not something we'd want to believe, is it? This is a conclusion drawn by people who tend to mistake their exhaustion for wisdom. However, even an echo would sometimes grow to become deafening noise. If people keep saying we're doomed, they might well bring about our extinction. What now, Judge? We're not that different from each other, dear Bachelor. I'm grateful for everything you've done for us. I appreciate the, the, the risk you took to help us. And I'm much obliged for the disheartening conclusion you have reached. No matter what you're going to do, you can count on our full support. The reward we have promised you will be duly delivered. Victor will make all the necessary arrangements. What reward did they promise me? I don't remember. I hope it's food, because I could really use food. I won't leave you on your own in this battle, Georgie. We have a common foe, and we will fight this foe together. Hold on, there's nothing else to talk about, right? Who in this town? No. Alright, so now I need to speak to Victor to, I guess, get my payment, and to Maria to get the payment for the food, the donation. Look at how high my exhaustion is, oh god, but I don't have time to sleep. I might have to buy a lemon and suck on it to make my exhaustion go down. I think it does that, doesn't it? Hey, Victor? That does it. I'm gonna break soon. Yes, I'm gonna need your help soon. Okay, no, um, okay. I guess Victor is still making the necessary arrangements or something. Okay, Maria. Please tell me you have a lot of money for me. Ah! 
the caprice of our temper is even more whimsical than that of fortune. Lara wanted to meet you to collect the donations for the House of the Living. I prohibited her from going outside, and I strongly advise you against doing so. Yes, I'm giving her my personal savings. I tried to persuade my father to spare some money from the family funds, but they still refuse to believe in the outbreak. That is just the family line at the moment. What? But no, I just convinced them of the plague. Existing and all that stuff. Huh. Uh, then why do you believe me? Me? I'm just not questioning anything. I'm not allowed to. If you want to know why I decided to give Laura my savings, I'll tell you this. That's because I'm compelled to. Oh, by the way, have you found the proof you were looking for? Unfortunately, I have. Tell my father about it as soon as possible. If it isn't too late, tell him that I ordered to donate some money to Captain Ravel's daughter for the foundation of a shelter. He won't refuse. He will probably offer to donate some himself. Okay, so maybe I can go back to him and get some more money. Good, 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 good. I was planning to speak to your father in any case. Well, I just did, but I, now, now I'm definitely planning on speaking to him again. 2,000? Oh my god. Okay, I really need Georgie to give me more money or I cannot possibly afford the food. Wait, is it Georgie or... Victor, that's her father. I'm gonna try Georgie. However brilliant and I ah, nothing to say there. Please give me money, Victor. It is far easier oh, to be wise for others than to be so for oneself. Lara Ravel is trying to set up a shelter where people could hide from the disease. She needs money. Your daughter has asked you to help. Is that so? Hmm. So the canny bound are preparing for the epidemic already. Lara Ravel. She's the executed captain's daughter, isn't she? I don't know. Indeed. And Lara is a generous and selfless girl with a tragic fate. I will support her, of course. I'll send her some money tomorrow. I have come here at her behest. I'm afraid that every minute counts in the situation we found ourselves in. The shops are running out of food as we speak. We must urgently buy the little that's left. Prices are growing rapidly. I see. Right now I can only give you some of the little we have left. Our family's funds are exhausted. I regret it, but that is directly related to my brother Simon's examination and burial. Thank you. 5,000. Okay, 5,000 plus 2,000. So 5,000 plus 2,000, 6, 7,000. Then I got 4,000, so that's 11. And then I got 2,000, so I think I've gotten 13,000 in total, I want to say. I guess I could just check. Yeah, I've gotten about 13,000, 14,000, 13,000, because I think I had 261 of my own money. So is that enough? I don't know. I'm going to have to do the math to see if that's enough to buy all the nine items that I need to buy. And I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to hopefully buy all the food that I need to help Lara Ravel set up her shelter.